Hi, I'm Lauren Tannehill. I'm gonna walk you through the creative process it took to create my painting, We Are One, for Durga Tree International. And I'm also proud to say they were created completely slave-free here in the United States. When I first started this project, my goal was to capture how people involved in trafficking felt. The more I learned about it, the more I pushed it away. It was too emotionally overwhelming, especially since I have three daughters of my own and learning that most people trafficked were young girls. I had such a hard time trying to wrap my head around creating a piece that was so saddening that you would not even want to look at it. My focus as an artist is to create pieces that inspire people in a positive light. So from there, I decided to take an approach that focuses on how much can be done when we choose to heal ourselves and our community. Trafficking is such a large issue, it can be challenging to figure out how we can help and where to start. I believe it begins within. This tree was once a young tree filled with love, light, and purity, a direct expression of God's love. One with nature, this tree grew from a little seedling until one day a shadow was cast upon this little life. Seeing an innocent, young, vibrant tree, this darkness manipulated and injected the seedling with poison. The poison forced this small tree to grow faster than nature intended its purity was lost. This once small, sweet life was now a large, infested tree with darkness and disease. Filled with sadness, guilt, fear, neglect, and pure evil, all the other trees and life in the forest stayed away from this tree because they did not understand how badly this tree had been poisoned. Until one day there came a light. This light was pure and welcoming and loving. The, the tree had not felt anything like that in years. It forgot that there was light. The light was so strong it had a flame. The tree was scared at first and thought that the light would hurt it like everyone else in its life. Over time, the tree let the light come closer until the light was close enough to wrap itself around the tree. The light burned all of the disease and darkness away and protected everything that was still pure in this once small, innocent seedling. The, the light was its savior. We are the light. We are the nature. We are all manifestations of God lo God's love. We are one. The woman in this painting represents all the good in our world. Her arms extended, she rejoices in all the beauty life has to offer. She doesn't focus on the negative, she does not judge. She is the healing of our world. She is the laughter of our children. She is the blooming of a flower. She is the rain on a dehydrated field. She recognizes that everything is connected by being kind and loving others. We help the energy of our world and encourage others to do the same. She knows that one small act of good can contribute to a chain of positive actions. We are one. The painting is a mixed media painting on handmade wood panels by Eno Studios, located in California. The timber across the bottom is urban salvage American walnut that has been sustainably harvested in California and also processed by Eno Studios. The wording on the tree is all articles on human trafficking, sex trafficking, the organ trade, and human slavery. <clears throat> the articles on the rocks are focusing on how we can help end hum human trafficking. The lotus petals are made from an antique book on teachings of Buddha. Her hair in the moon is made from a book that focuses on healing ourselves and our energy to heal our world. In the moon, it says, we are one, which is also the name of the painting. Um, the energy behind this painting is so tremendous. I uh, was pregnant during most of my time creating this painting, and it was very intense and overwhelming, learning of all of the lives that these young girls have, and made, made me feel so grateful for everything that we have here and the life that I'm able to give my children. 
So one of the main things that I really wanted to, to the, the painting for you to see in the painting is how important each and every one of us is and just how one small step has a huge effect when everyone is taking one small step. And the, a quote that really, really affected me during the time of creating the painting that really inspired a lot of it was by the Dalai Lama. And it said, if you think you're too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito. And that just really resonated with me. And this whole process has been amazing. And I'm so grateful working with Durga Tree and the opportunity that they have given me. And how they look evil straight in the eye and they don't back down. And we need more people like that. So thank you so much. Um, I appreciate your time and everyone here looking at the painting. And I hope that you feel all that emotion that went into the painting. Thanks.